Hey everyone, TypeScript is very easy to learn and is super suited for beginners. When you know JavaScript already, you can move to TypeScript gradually. You don't need to learn all the TypeScript syntax at once, you can start step by step. I created a project that uses TypeScript, but has plain JavaScript inside. So here is a reference to an index.js file, and in this index.js file I've written plain JavaScript code. By the way, I haven't written this code myself, I copied it from the typescriptlang.org website because they have it as an example to showcase what TypeScript can do for JavaScript developers. A very common mistake that can easily happen with JavaScript is getting the names of your variables wrong. I have an array and this array is then referenced with ARR, but here I have a typo ORR. So when I run this code, I will get to see an error. So this will then crash if I execute this code here, source and then index.js, we'll get to see that ORR is not defined, there is a reference error and it's all kaput. TypeScript offers something super, super powerful to JavaScript developers. We can just add a comment here. And in this comment, we declare then TypeScript check so that we get semantic checks of our code. Now we will see that the Doom guy is not happy anymore. ARR is defined here, but here we are using ORR, so this name cannot be found, we should change it. And of course we can change it and then things look cool again. But still, it's not fully cool. We got to see a typo error here. Yeah, I want to differentiate between typo errors and type errors because we are still in JavaScript. JavaScript doesn't know about the type of our variable. The TypeScript team thought about something very, very cool. They thought, okay, how can we help JavaScript developers even more? Well, we can also ingest data coming from JSDoc. So I can add JSDoc here, and then I can specify a type for this array. Well, what type can it be? Let me check. I give in numbers, so let's put in a number type, and it's a number array. Now, the TypeScript compiler inspects this parameter with that type and tells me that this array doesn't have a trim method because trim exists on strings but not on arrays. Let's then just change the trim to slice and be happy again. Doomguy happy means that we are happy too. Instead of writing this comment into every JavaScript file, we can also remove it and simply go back to the TypeScript compiler configuration and say we want to check JavaScript. This will also then inspect all the files here, so we will get to see problems again if we use the wrong methods, for example, like trim. Now that our file looks much cleaner, we can ask ourselves, why do we have JSDoc at all? Yeah, it looks very clunky. Let's just migrate to TypeScript completely, because all it takes is renaming our index file. We'll rename it from index.js to index.ts, and then we take this type here and we put it next with a colon to our variable name. This is all it takes to migrate to TypeScript for this example. We can then remove this whole clunky comment, have a much cleaner code in eight lines and get the full feature set of the TypeScript compiler, meaning that we get to see typos and we also get to see if we are using wrong methods. Yeah, this is the benefit of it by just putting this simple type annotation here. It is very cool to see how easily you can move from JavaScript to TypeScript. It just took a few steps and we are fully there in TypeScript. But the way back is even simpler because it just takes one command. We can execute npx tsc and then the TypeScript compiler will create a JavaScript version of our code, which we can then see here right next to our TypeScript code. And it looks fairly simple because it is basically what we had. It's the compact function, it's the execution of it, and then it uses the strict mode, which is best practice in JavaScript. But it gets even better. We can import plain JavaScript in TypeScript. Yeah, I'm not kidding. You can take this JavaScript code here, yeah, the plain JavaScript code, and you can make another file. I will just call it plain.js. Yeah, and let's say I put it here and I want to export it. I will remove also now in my TypeScript config to check the JavaScript file. Yeah, I won't care about the problems that may arise here. 
because it doesn't have a type annotation or anything like that. So I will just have plain JavaScript code here. And now I would like to use it in my TypeScript code. Yeah, instead of declaring here the function myself, I would like to just use what I have in JavaScript. Well, it is as easy as saying import. And then I say, okay, I want to import the compact function from plain JS file. Yeah, I want to get it from my plain JS file. And this can be done by just going to the TypeScript config and saying, well, you know what? Allow JavaScript. <laughs> and when we set it to true, we'll then be able in our index.ts file to use plain JavaScript. Yeah. If at some point you feel lost with TypeScript, then I have a website for you, which is TypeScript TV, because I'm building that since some years. And here you will find a glossary that tells you about a lot of terminology around JavaScript and also around specifically TypeScript. So you will get to see what are all these things like type guards, type narrowing and so on and so forth. And even better for the ones that run into errors, I have a section about errors where you can just pick any of the TypeScript compiler errors like 1,363, yeah? And then you see what is the broken code, why is it broken and how to fix it. So have fun with TypeScript and let me know if you need help because it's a great language and I'm looking forward to support you with that.